before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and of course, hit that. Okay, everyone, welcome back to our Down Payment Assistance Lender Series. My name is Pamela Spivey with Fast Real Estate, brokered by EXP Realty, and I'm here with Patricia Chavez with Golden State Mortgage Experts. And today, Down Payment Series is going to be Shanoa Down Payment. So go ahead, uh, you can go ahead and take it from there and let's just you know, talk about it and let us know a little bit more about the program. Yeah, so this program, uh, what is fantastic is that um, it allows borrowers to be able to, to purchase without a down payment. This program uh, is applicable, like basically in all of the state of California. Okay. Um, there are, the program does have, uh, they have loan limits, but they also do have options in for borrowers that don't fit within the loan limit guidelines. Right. If you're lucky to fit within the county limits, you are eligible for a program that has down payment assistance that is deferred and forgivable if you keep the loan three years. Mm -hmm. You never have to pay it back. If okay. you are, don't fit within the county limits, we do have other options. So you'll still be able to purchase and still be able to uh, put, to have your down payment covered. But the main difference is that in that case, your down payment is going to have a monthly payment. They assist mm -hmm. the part okay. of the so with that monthly payment, that's gonna is that gonna lower how much you can qualify for? Because now you're gonna have that additional payment. Does it get in the way of that? You know, typically, actually, because the rates are different, what'll happen is the program that has the deferred payments has a little bit of a higher rate. Mm, so okay. the payments end up being about the same, actually. Oh, okay, okay. And so, how would you say this is different program from like Cal Hafa? That's all I you know hear all the time for down payment programs. Well, the, the main difference with Cal Hafa is that Cal Hafa tends to be a lot more restrictive. Um, it happens to be the case that most borrowers have to be within this little box in order to be able to qualify. Versus Chinoa, the main difference is that they're more lenient. As I mentioned, if you if you're not within the county limits, they still have options for you. Versus okay. Cal Hafa, if you're not within the county limits, then you're out. You qualify. Okay. Uh, also, with cap HAFA, they're more restricted when it comes to debt ratios. Mm -hmm. If they cap debt ratios at 45%, oh, okay. Chinoa, they cap them at 55. Mm -hmm. So there's like a 10% variance that allows you to qualify borrowers for a higher amount. Oh, okay. And so is this only for first time home buyers, or can you, no, or you can be a first time homebuyer? No, home it, it is. Restricted to first-time home buyers, you can actually currently own a home and still qualify for the program. Oh, okay, so that works out. And then, is this goes along with the FHA program only? Can you be a conventional and utilize this service also? You can do both program? FHA and conventional. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you mention you know you don't have to pay back? You had said something about you don't have to pay back if you X amount of years goes past. Um, and then... If you are if your income is within the income limits, then you qualify for the program that is deferred and okay. you don't have to pay it back. Okay. If you're not within the income limits, then you would still qualify for down payment assistance, but you would be part of a program in which if you ever refinance mm -hmm. or purchased or, or sold your house and somebody was purchasing your home right. and you would, you would have to pay that amount back. Oh, okay. Okay. And what about credit score? What type of credit score do you need to qualify for this program? Um, the credit score varies depending on the sales price. Okay. If you are up to a conforming amount, which currently conforming uh, amounts are 550, so 548 to, to be exact. So if you're in that price, up to that price point, um, rates are a little bit more competitive. Once like, you go up in the next bracket, then rates are a little bit higher. Okay. And the next question is, can you buy multi-units with this program or is this just strictly for a single family? Uh, primarily single family. Single family. Okay. I think we covered everything. Let's see. I'm just looking down the little list real fast here and see if we covered. And then this program, just so that you know, it's mm -hmm. a federal-based program that's okay. fairly charted. So they're not the type of program that... You know, I know that some programs like the MCCs or some other the local down payment assistance programs, right. like 
they release, funds become available at the beginning of the year and typically mm -hmm. by the middle of the year they run out and you right. end up in a situation where you suddenly don't have funds available. That's not the case with Chinoa. They're fairly charted so they don't run out of funds. Wow, okay, okay. Well, I believe I'm looking down the list to make sure we covered everything. Da, 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 da. Yep, everything's here. Everything you, you pretty much covered. Is there anything that you want to add on to that? I, you know. Um, well, I just think it's a fantastic opportunity for for uh, people that if you're a first time home buyer and and don't necessarily have a down payment available, right. you don't have to wait to save money for a down payment to be able to purchase. You can do that right now. And what's amazing is that right now, because of uh, the state of the economy, uh, our rates are unbelievably low. So even with this program, you can buy with down payment assistance and have your rates be like 3%. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Because typically okay. down payment assistance programs tend to have a little bit higher rates. Right, right. It's right now we're on par with what would be on a regular loan. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's, that's interesting because I know they normally say that this is a little bit higher. So I, I think pretty much that covers it. That if anyone has any additional questions for Patricia, we'll have her contact information that you can reach out to her because we just kind of do a quick little summary. Our goal is that if you're watching this, that you just have an idea of what's going on as far as down payment programs. And thank you so much, Patricia, for sharing. We really appreciate it. Okay. Yep. See you later, Patricia. Bye. Have a good day. Bye, everyone. Bye. Okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Our goal is to get the information out. So please, if you can share, that'll be amazing. The information about down payment assistance programs, there are so many out there, but it's just a matter of knowing where and how to find them. Alrighty, see you later.